Hey kids, I just want to say how much I miss all of your faces and I can't wait till I have the opportunity to see you and teach you face to face again. Uh, so lately we've been talking about the different parts of the Easter story from Palm Sunday and the Last Supper. Well today we're going to talk about the Garden of Gethsemane. So in the Garden of Gethsemane, that this is a very interesting part of the story. I personally think there's a lot of parts of it that can really speak to you. So you can find this in Matthew 26. So after the Last Supper, so Jesus took his disciples to the place called Gethsemane, the garden, and he asked them to sit and to well, keep watch and while well, he goes and prays. So Jesus goes and he gets on his face and he's going for God to pray and he says, tells God, if this cup can pass from my lips, please let it be. But if there is no other way, may your will be done, essentially. Because what he was asking is, Jesus knew what was in store for him. He knew that he was going to go to the cross and the suffering he'd have to do on our behalf. And he was and he was still a man, because he was the word became flesh. And so he, in, a, in that moment of being a man, was asking God if there's any other way to let it happen but still accepting that if this had to be how it would go, that he would still do as the Lord wills. But so after this impassioned cry, he goes to check on his disciples and he, he finds them sleeping. These men that have followed him through his ministry, his disciples, he asked them just to stay and watch and they were asleep. They could not stay up with him for one hour. And he just, he wakes them up and he tells them to keep watching and praying so that they may not enter into temptation because he knew the trials that were coming before them and he knew they need to be strong. And so he goes back and he prays again, Lord, if there's, if I must drink from this cup, may it be your will. Still not wanting what is coming, but accepting what may have to do. And he comes back again and yet again, the disciples have fallen asleep. They're asleep. They're, they couldn't stay up and wake with them. They couldn't. They, and Jesus is still rebukes them and tells them, for the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Please. And then he goes one more time to pray, saying again, pleading with God. And when he comes back, again, the disciples are asleep. I mean, how would you feel if you were going through something super hard and you just wanted your friends to be with you and maybe pray and support you? And when you were doing that, they were sleeping, or maybe they were playing a game instead of paying attention to you. Imagine how much worse that was for Jesus. And so when he comes back for that third time, he says to them, you're still sleeping. Well, guess what? The, the hour has come. The traitor is going to be here. The Son of Man betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up. Come on, he's the one who betrays me is here. As he was saying this, Judas, he was one of the 12 disciples who followed Jesus, but he, he had let greed or something take over him. And he decided that 12 pieces of silver was more important than Jesus. And so he comes, when he had gone to the chief priest and he had looked for an opportunity, and now he was going to come with a group of guards from the priest's house to come to Jesus and he tells them the one I could greet with a kiss will be the one you must seize and he goes to Jesus and he greets him a friend and gives him a kiss hail rabbi and Jesus friend do what you have come here to do and when the you see when the people came to seize Jesus one of the disciples, I'm pretty sure it was Peter, he draws his sword and he cuts off the ears of one of the guards in defense of Jesus. And Jesus is like, whoa, 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 put your sword back in its place. For all those who take up the sword will perish by the sword. Or do you not think I can appeal to my father? He will at once put at my disposal more than... Twelve legions of angels? That's a ton of angels. That's a lot of angels. 
<laughs> I have all this power and authority. And but but I am not calling on that because how then will the scriptures be fulfilled? Because he knew what was coming. It has been prophesied and he knew what had to happen for our sake, for my sake, for your sake. And he went and he actually he healed the ear of the guard. The guard that and one of his own disciples cut the ear off. Now imagine being that guard. You're just told to go pick up this guy and you get your ear chopped off. And then the guy you were supposed to arrest, poof, and you have your ear back. I mean, I, that's weird for me. I don't know what I'd do if I was that guard. <laughs> I, so that was Jesus. He was taken away. The next video we'll talk about will be the video for um, the trials and the tr cross for Jesus. I can't wait to see you again. Love you. Bye. <laughs>